And make sure to check out my Discord, the link in the description, the banner there on the YouTube page. Hey, if he gets to do a shameless plug, I get to do a shameless plug. Yes, folks, we're back doing Harmon Smith slash Fanboy Contact, because I figure, what the hell, why not, right? Plus, he made a response video to one of my videos, the Pokemon Gen looks. I figure, why not, right? Just what the heck. Maybe just do this every once in a while. Maybe not overdose on it. Maybe not do it all the time. But just, just every once in a while. So with that said, let's get into his video. And here we are with a video bitching about a recent Nintendo Direct. Yeah, I uh, I myself have not been uh, paying super close attention to, uh, to, to reactions from YouTubers lately. There, there's been a handful of things. I was expecting a much bigger backlash to Splatoon 3, actually. But... Uh, most people seem to be eating that shit up. So I, I don't... I, I, I was... Oh, dear God. What the hell was that? You guys saw that, right? That that, that weird, awkward brief at the... <laughs> I don't... I, I, I was... By the way, I want to apologize to all you headphone users. I can't help it. I get a little excited when I, I do some of these videos. So yeah, just a... Uh of a heads up there sorry about that but seriously what, what's with that weird ass laugh i noticed that throughout most of his videos he does that thing where it's like wh what the hell are is, is he not breathing by the way guys take a shot for every time this guy takes a swig of water in his video i got a feeling you're at least getting two shots in from uh someone known as the playstation gamer with nine views talking about like Pokemon Gen 9, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, uh, which are going to be some of the most successful games this year. Uh, of course he did that. I don't know if he did that intentionally, but how do people not catch on to this? I also know it's like something I, you know, when I'm talking to people on Discord, people call me the PlayStation Gamer. It's, it's that PlayStation Gamer just for the record and yeah of course pokemon is going to be successful because pokemon doesn't have to try i have said before pokemon is successful no matter what they do they could literally put out a bag of sand and call it pikachu sand and i guarantee that shit will sell remember nintendo sold the, sold also the same company that sold you guys cardboard and you guys were more than happy with it they are probably going to be the best-selling games uh, all year long this year, considering Call of Duty sales have like tanked. So, I um, I, I'm curious, like, what this guy has to say. So let's go ahead and check this out. What's up, gamers? This is that PlayStation gamer coming. Now, something I noticed here, he has my volume really low. Like, you could barely hear anything I'm saying. So, for the record, Armin, if you somehow watch this, which you probably will because you're that egotistical, um, raise the volume on the video you're responding to because it's kind of important for the audience to hear what you're responding to. Dear God, no, just... Oh. <laughs> what is this guy talking about? This game looks great. Like, I have no problems with this game visually, with the design, with, like, the direction they're going in. Honestly, I fully expect this to be the best gen since, like, Gen 5. Honestly, this looks like a really good step forward for the franchise. Uh, Legends Arceus was one of my favorite games of this year. Uh, it probably will end up being my uh, game of the year, assuming that, like, um, Splatoon 3 is, uh, isn't, is like, mind-blowingly good, right? I, I, uh... I, I think this is going to be a phenomenal game. And this guy, uh, I wonder if his his opinion on this game is is based on the fact that it's a Nintendo exclusive. That, that's the impression I get by seeing this guy's uh, exaggerated reaction. Well, he does his little shilling for the next generation of Pokemon games. This could be the best generation ever. This could be better than the last one. This game looks fine to me, even though it looks like they're literally loading the trees in as you're walking up to the tree. Oh, but that's okay, because it's got that Nintendo logo and that Pokemon logo, so that means I approve too. 
And no, Harmon, I wasn't going after Pokemon because it's a Nintendo property. I was going after Pokemon Scarlet and Violet because I thought the games would look better. But in fact, while they do look mildly better, like I say in the video, I don't think it's drastic enough of a change for them to justify asking $60 for these games. Like, if you were to compare those to, like, just... I would even say, like, a game like Neo Cooney 2 or Persona 5. They look leaps and bounds better. But, of course, because they don't have the Pokemon logo, those games aren't going to be super successful. Like, Pokemon, because Pokemon, like I said before, can literally get away with selling you a bag of sand. And people will buy that shit up. sort of person who defends stuff like Horizon Forbidden West and uh, and God of War. Like that's the kind of person we're dealing with. Oh man, it's not it's not ultra realistic. So it's not a it's not a real game. What a dork. When did I ever say a video game that doesn't look ultra realistic isn't a real game? You guys can, know, can find this out for a fact. I like games that actually don't look ultra realistic. One of my most anticipated games coming out actually in a couple of days, Destroy All Humans 2. Would I say that looks ultra realistic? No. And I don't defend Horizon for Ben West. Even I was the person who kind of threw that game on her bus and said, eh, it's, it's whatever. Yes, I'll defend God of War 2018 to the fucking brim because that's a fantastic story. I don't defend it for just the graphics. I defend it for the overall quality of the product. The overall package instead of you know just oh graphics look good so that's the thing i will die on the hill for i need to have more to be you know excited for than just graphics arsurus it's probably one of the better open world games i've played in the sense that where like it actually tries to like innovate and do stuff a little bit differently because you're exploring the environment looking for like looking for pokemon right like it's different than what other open world games do, do does have done in the past i uh yeah legends arceus was fantastic i i don't know why this guy is pretending like it's not i never said pokemon legends legends arceus wasn't you know good i said from a graphical standpoint it looked like it was being held back by the switch hardware which it is just like every nintendo switch game that comes out unless it's you know only made for that console you know, like Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy or Kingdom Hearts Cloud version? The fact that they're, those games can't run on the Switch natively, they have to use a Cloud version, tells me that S Switch is so weak, it can't even natively run them. Just saying. Look, a fire, water, starter, a fire, freaking grass, and a water type. Wow, so original. And look at Pooper there. Yes, look at... Who, who the fuck bitches? I, I I never understood this when it comes to like uh non Pokemon fans. Who the fuck bitches about you being given a choice between fire, water, and grass types at the beginning of every Pokemon game? Like who the fuck cares? Like a lot of Pokemon evolve into like having a second type, right? Like you you catch other types of Pokemon when you want variety in your teams, like. Uh, it's just a traditional thing in the world of Pokemon. Fire, grass, and water starters. Like, there's nothing... There's nothing weird about that. There's nothing, like... There's nothing... There's nothing, like... There's nothing underwhelming about having, like, a, t a, a standard for what you can expect when it comes to, like, what Pokemon you can choose at the beginning of the game. Like, imagine if you went out and, like, Professor Oak just gives you, like, a Mewtwo. And then, like, you stop the entire game with it. Like, like it, it doesn't work like that. Yes, Harmon, it's a tradition, but it's a tradition I find boring and I find super repetitive. Of all the types Pokemon have, why is it always water, grass, fire? Why can it be steel, fairy, dragon? Why can it be poison, bug, fire? I don't know, just a different combination instead of the same combination we've been getting for years. As a Pokemon fan, as a guy who admits right now, I'm very tempted to buy Pokemon games. 
I just can't because I don't find the innovations I wish Pokemon would make. I wish Pokemon would start changing the formula. And well, yes, Scarlet and Violet do like they're changing the formula a tiny bit. I need to see much more drastic changes. And I want to see things that are completely new for the franchise. But at the same time, you're the kind of person who's complacent. You're just happy with no matter what. Yeah, Pokemon could literally come out with DLC giving you all the Pokemon you want. Oh, wait! They did! And how much did they charge for those DLCs or the expansion pass? Why do I got a feeling that practice is coming back? This is just, this is just why I, I can't support Nintendo. This is why I can't support no. Nintendo. They, they, he can't support Nintendo. Oh, no. He, there's not a single Nintendo game he would support. There's not a single Nintendo game he likes. Like, Breath of the Wild, fuck that shit. Triangle Strategy, fuck that shit. You know, Legends of Arceus, fuck that shit. Kirby, fuck that shit. Um, I really need to stop cursing so much. But uh, y you know what I mean, right? Like, everything Nintendo does is bad. Like, they are the worst video game company in the world. I would never support them. And yes, for the record, you're seeing me edit more around because I realize most of this video is just me talking to him, giving the occasional response. But for the record, Harmon, I don't support Nintendo because a lot of their business practices and how they treat content creators is, well, to put it nicely, bad. And yeah, there are some Nintendo franchises I wish I was a fan of. Metroid, for example. Xenoblade, even though like I think Xenoblade's weeaboo trash, you know, I'm not saying I don't like my weeaboo trash every once in a while. Zelda's a good example, and I even said in this video, I'm a Pokemon fan still. I occasionally dip into the Pokemon world, but in my opinion, the best generation was, or at least I guess you would say the last great generation was Gen 5, because everything after just kind of fell to the wayside, just kind of there. And that's why I feel like Scarlet and Violet are. They're just kind of there. Nintendo Switch, much as I would love to be able to chance to, you know, play brand new Pokemon games and all that shit, it just looks so dated at this point. And I know Nintendo's games are about the gameplay, they're about the experiences, but it's like, you know, you still have to see this stuff. I'm a fan of Mega Evolution myself, so. And I just can't get over the fact that Pokemon has been it's one of the most successful IPs in the world and yet their games still look like they're at least two generations behind I just wish Nintendo actually had hardware that well may not matter blame the hardware like again you, you see these people do this all the time where like they have this this idea that like oh man it, it's the hardware's fault but that, that's obviously not the case. Like, not when it comes to Pokemon and not when it comes to any any other game on Nintendo Switch. Like, if a game doesn't look good, it's not the hardware. It's the developer. But, like, this game does look good. Um, I'm I'm super hyped for it. You, I, dude, I had to edit through so much of me talking because he says almost next to nothing. Because I negate every point he says. I say I'm a Pokemon fan. I say I'm a fan of this franchise. I say that I want Pokemon to do good. He only responds when I start blaming the hardware, and even then he says, oh, it could be the developer's fault. Yes, Harmon, what if, this is a crazy thought here, what if the game developers at Game Freak aren't as good as Sony's? Or maybe it's a mixture problem. Maybe it's the developers and the hardware both not mean up to the match of a multi-billion dollar IP like Pokemon. It's a possibility, right? Just saying. PlayStation Gamer sign up. I didn't make a single adequate point talking about his concerns with the game. Like, he just spent 10 minutes bitching about the alleged lack of visual quality in spite of, like, clearly being a step up from Sword and Shield, in spite of having, like, lots of cool, interesting mechanics, uh, despite being a follow up to Legends Arceus, which was fantastic. Like, what exactly was underwhelming about this trailer? I have no idea. Uh, in fact, I am probably going to go out and and buy a copy of this game right now. I didn't make a single adequate point, but yet he doesn't make an adequate point either. 
90% of my video was planned, and he said almost next to nothing. With the occasional, the occasional response, and even then, it was just like, oh, well, he's wrong. Oh, he's wrong. Oh, he's wrong. Just hold me. If you're going to hold me to that standard harmony, hold yourself to standard. If Pokemon looks so good to you, tell me what looks so good about it. This was my knee-jerk response. This was my response after watching the Direct. I literally captured that footage after uh, on a stream that was someone who was streaming it and, like, literally just was given an audio freaking response to it. I'm trying to remember that whole situation because, like, it was very fresh. It was like that literally was pulled right from the stream. So, yeah, guys, he made a stupid video. And you know what? Honestly, I don't know what to say outside of Harmon, you're a Nintendo show. Of course, you like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet because you'll like it no matter what. Pokemon literally could come out and f just have a middle finger on the screen for 10 minutes and you'll like it. You'll, you'll be saying it's the game of the year. At least it's better than Last of Us Part 2. And just. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm an actual consumer who actually gives a shit about the games he's getting and wants to see the set where my money's going. I don't want to see a game that looks subpar and I'm paying top dollar for. But until next time, guys, this is that PlayStation Gamer signing out. I hope you all have a good day. God damn, this took a long time to edit. Y'all better like and comment, subscribe, and all that YouTube algorithm BS. Haha, <laughs> I disguised it a little bit better. Until next time, peace out and have a good day.